Hello creative friends. You may remember that I did a video drawing this fish and um, if you haven't seen it I'll put a link to it in the um, description below so that you can watch it because this is very easy to draw. Um, what I'm going to do today is actually paint this. So um, going over it again with a kneaded eraser which is really good uh, to get those last pencil marks up. I went over it in my carbon uh, platinum ink that is waterproof, so I can easily paint over this with my watercolors and not have to worry about it running. It is uh, completely dry. And so what I'm gonna do is use a variety of different blues and greens to do my fish. So first off, what I'm gonna do is some wet on wet. I'm gonna take my brush and wet the background and I'm going to do a very light uh, blue background so that it looks like my fish is swimming. So I'm gonna put this water out here and um, go from there. Some of the paints that I'm gonna be using are Daniel Smith paints and I'll put all the different colors down in uh, the description box as well as links to my Amazon affiliate channel in case um, you would like to uh, get some of these for yourself. Actually, I'm just gonna do the entire fish. I'm just going to wet everything. And if it bleeds over, not a problem. I'm not worried about it. So uh, it will have a nice base of uh, wet on wet to start with. So to begin with, I'm going to use some ultramarine blue because it is a uh, pretty um, transparent uh, background, I think, for this will be um, quite nice. And just uh, move it around a little bit. I like these blooms, but I'm still gonna move it around some. And uh, it will dry an awful lot lighter than what you see here now. And then uh, we will make our fish stand out with um, really beautiful, brilliant colors. And uh, I think it will be stunning when we're finished. So stick with me, uh, I'll put some music on and uh, we will uh, finish this project. So enjoy.
here we go. Um, I'm really proud of my fish. I think he's absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you want to learn how to draw him, of uh, course, uh, you can do that. Oops, I see a little area where I have some bleeding here, so we'll just sort of uh, make that go into the next uh, area of his uh, tail. No problem. But um, you see what I did was I controlled my paint by putting water just where I wanted it to go. And if you don't do that, then there's no way that you can paint intricate uh, things like this. But that's definitely the way to do it. So I hope uh, that this helped you in um, understanding ways to better control your uh, paint uh, when you're doing intricate work like this. What I may do is go back with maybe some paint markers and um, do some of the uh, designs on his, on his uh, face and, and his, uh, his fins uh, so they stand out a little bit more. Uh, maybe a white marker might give it a little bit of um, a punch uh, or a white pen. I've got some fine point pens as well. But uh, when this dries, I think it's going to be beautiful, and um, I'm very proud of it. So you can do this too. I show you how to draw it from scratch and then um, uh, paint it. So uh, let me see what you come up with if uh, you take on this project. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.